6903 how much they have used the assets 4244 so this basically tells you that it's time to replace the plant right so you see that more than 50% plant has been used so they should plan okay in two or three years or four years they need to buy this plant and you know they renew this you know plant so it's like that so they try to you know uh, you know devise some strategies of financing of you know uh, maybe they talk about the okay we need to replace the plant so we are not giving this time from four you know this time to four years we are not distributing any kind of uh, uh, dividend so that that money is going to be used to buy our plant right so there are different strategies right if your business is heavily based on you know large fixed assets and you seeing you are seeing that your accumulated deficit is you know is closing is is above 80% then it's you know you need to think about in future funding needs are going to be raised and how you are going to finance it depends on your cfos and investment or uh, financing officers that how you are you know going to gather this amount so in small businesses it's just like maybe 100000 200000 but in multinational corporation replacement of the plants is take billions of dollars 10 billion dollar 9 billion dollar 23 billion dollar it's a huge amount and how you are going to raise this kind of fund because no bank no single bank is going to give you 30 billion dollar loan because it's too much of risk right and then you devise some kind of strategies how we are going to fulfill this 30 billion dollar need either we ask from public or either we go to different banks different individuals how we are going to do that that is a corporate finance discussion okay so we are not going into that one we just are limiting the canvas here so let's just move forward now the third adjusting entry belongs to accrued expenses accrued expenses means expenses incurred but not yet paid right people work for you but you didn't pay yet the cash is not going out from your business until now right expense happened occurred incurred but cash is not going out cash is still in your company it means that is accrued expense it means expense recorded before cash payments so it is salaries interest taxes and rent so let's just talk about one by one its illustration here first of all the salaries so for example the fred auto, auto service corporation it pays its employees a monthly salary of 1800 but salary is going to be paid on 15th of the month or the last day of the month so you see the calendar of june and you found out that the 15th is coming on saturday and saturday the factory or the business is going to be closed and 30 is going to be on sunday sunday it is going to be closed according to the rule they would be paid on 15th so saturday no one is coming so naturally is that you will be transferring the payment on monday so it means your salary is going to be outstanding or not paid for these two days right it means expense occurred but not paid for two days so what will be the entry let's talk about this so during friday uh, so during june Friday paid its employees the first half of nine hundred and made the following entry. So on fifteenth of June, did they transfer? No. Even if the factory is open, the banks are not open. So they recorded as liability. Right? Expense occurred. You need to record the expense. So expense increase, debit. but on the other hand you increase the liability because cash is not paid cash is not decreased so the entry would not be like 
salary expense 900 to cash because cash is not going out from the business so it's a liability so entry would be salary expense what it's on saturday wait okay so the illustration was that on saturday everything is open on sunday everything is closed my bad i assume two days weekend okay one day the the on sunday everything is closed but on saturday everything is open so you paid the salary salary expense to cash but on 30th of june right what happened everything is closed so i assume that they have two days off but saturday is a working day sorry guys so entry would be you paid salary salary expense to cash but on sunday everything is closed but salary occurred on th on 30th of june so you record when you record it it would be salary expense to payable right now the thing is expense is increased but cash is not going out from the business so when you record so remember the expense recognition principle is that whenever you record for example you paid on 1st of 1st of july on 1st of july entry would be let me just open a whiteboard so on 1st of july it would be two accounts mm, salary payable and cash so cash is going out from the business cash is going to be negative right and this is liability liability is also going to be decreased so liability decrease debit asset decrease credit entry would be salary is payable to cash right so that would be the payment plan that is the next entry which is of course is not here uh, in this uh, slide because we are just making adjusting entry it is just that what will happen to this liability when you pay liability then you record it so that revenue and expense recognition principle you need to follow that one right expense is recorded on when it happens on 30th of june see you record it see no cash is involved so even then you record it so um, if you talk about the cash basis accounting so this entry is not needed over there so you just record on 1st of july and you will record it as salary expense to cash but here you will record it at july 1st right guys lota kathleen ploy understand anis yes sir i think so sir you're late right okay ali coco dijodi fabian understand no it's yes. okay now the next one of the you know accrued expenses is the accrued revenue so we already talk about you know the entries but this is just the you know it is just the explanation of that one we have talked about the accrued revenues entries and all those stuff in our uh you know assignments in previous lectures but this is just uh, about the timing that we are you know adjusting the accounts here we go accrued revenue which means 
which means revenue has been earned but not yet collected which means you delivered the goods sale happened but customer didn't pay you so a popular example is the Taobao right because the middleman is Taobao a customer paid to Taobao and Taobao you know hold the money until the goods have been delivered on the other hand the seller they send the goods and they receive the money when customer receives the good when delivery services they leave the goods at customer doorstep on you receive the message okay you receive the good that's it right and then sellers are going to receive the money from Taobao so two or three days or maybe seven days or in some cases 15 days you know it takes 15 days so in that case the accrued revenues it occurred right in that case you create account receivable and then account when when customer paid you then you decrease the account receivable and increase your cash so popular accrued revenue are services performed rent this is if your business is uh, you know providing renting services interest revenue rent revenue interest revenue right so let's just talk about its, its illustration so assume that fedex hires friday uh, fridays on june 15 fedex will pay friday 600 monthly right with the first payment on july 15 july wait a minute so they hire the friday on june 15 they will pay its first half payment on july 15 so during the june friday will earn half of the month's fee for the work done on uh, work done on june 15 through june 30 right so on June 30, Friday makes the phone makes the following adjustment. So what is the adjustment? So they are eligible for half of the rent, uh, half of the payment. So half of the payment is 600 by two is 300. So sale occurred. Yes, sale occurred. Payment received. Cash increase. No, cash will be increased on. 15th of July. So account receivable, receivable to revenue or service revenue. Right guys? So this amount is basically the opening amount here, the normal balance. So don't just worry about this. So you transfer this entry here on the already opened ledger accounts, the accounts, right? So now again, your individual class activity that you need to post uh, uh, adjust the revenue account here so suppose Friday's auto service in